Hello, good morning. I just got up and let's just hope today is spider free. I'm going to make my bed um, and I really, uh, I need to work out. So we're gonna put on our exercise clothes. We're gonna work out. And then I do have a grocery pickup order that I had to do at uh, Walmart this morning. Um, I think I have to pick it up between 10 and 11. So that should be right after I'm done with my workout and like getting a shower and stuff. It's not a huge order. It was just things that I couldn't get at Aldi or needed extra of. And then after that, I will have coffee and edit my video from yesterday. And then I get to start my new book. Ugh, a made bed is just top notch. Okay, so I have been, you probably saw this in day one's vlog, but I have to take, um, birth control pills because I'm currently getting ready for my second um, frozen transfer for IVF and you take birth control for two weeks and then I'll have to start taking my shots in my belly again um, and that just like down regulates your cycle so it kind of puts you like in a menopause because then I start all of my um, estrogen pills and progesterone shots, which go right here. Um, and that creates like a thick lining and makes you, um, like your body think that you're pregnant. So right now I'm on the down regulating and then I get to do all of those crazy hormones that literally like after I was done with my last transfer, a few days later, I was like, after I didn't take hormones anymore, I was like, whoa. I actually feel like myself again. Um, I didn't realize until like I stopped having all the hormones in just how like hormonal I was. Like I was crying about like just things I would never cry about. I'm usually not a crier. After I take a shower after working out today, I am definitely washing my hair, which will actually be the first time I wash it. I got my hair done the day before I started daily vlogs. So I went to this new place um, and like the, the girl did such an amazing job. Um, she actually like went to high school with, uh, my husband and my sister-in-law has been getting her hair done with her for a while now. And this was my first time going and the color, I mean, it's dirty right now, so you probably can't tell, but the color is absolutely amazing. I'll pop up a picture here of like when I actually got it done, but I feel like she did such a good job, like making it look very natural um, and then she did a really good job like cutting all my layers too so today's gonna be the first day that I actually wash it since I've gotten it cut like and you know re-highlighted and stuff well I think she did highlights and lowlights but I did buy the shampoo from what she used because she did recommend it so I got the shampoo and the conditioner this is my first time like actually buying expensive like this is the Redken color extend magnetics shampoo so i'm gonna try it this and the conditioner hopefully it makes it feel and look just like the salon okay now to get exercise clothes on yes this is the same shirt i wore yesterday but here's a tip for you if you wear your shirt from yesterday then guess what? That's less wash that I'm doing because this is already dirty and it's gonna get dirty with me working out. And then I will actually put new clothes on. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Let me move this. Um, and I was gonna let my hair dry naturally, but I did just get the Revlon like blow dryer brush thing. I don't know what this is actually called, but I got it like for my birthday a week ago. And I think I might just do it on my bang area and then let the rest of my hair dry naturally. But I'm also a complete amateur at this. So don't do what I do or don't watch what I do. I'm gonna pull, pull back, I guess. Okay, whoops, and then I go and break it. That was really nice. Cool, cool. So now do I just let the rest of my hair 
dry. I'm thinking of maybe just trying and blowing the whole thing out, see what it looks like. Okay. It's definitely um, better than last time because of the way that it's cut. Like all of these nice angles. But I still don't love my hair straight. Okay, so I actually need to go do the pickup order. Um, it's already 10.30. Um, so I did not have coffee yet today and I really want some. So I guess I'm just gonna like quick do um, just one shot of espresso. This is the Diavolito. It's blue. Pop in. Looks delicious. All right, let's go. back inside after I have been editing my vlog. It is two o'clock in the afternoon now and I gotta plug in my computer. And while it is uploading, I'm gonna start a book. So I, <laughs> I was on Instagram earlier today and I was totally wrong about when Haley's birthday is. Her birthday actually was on June 1st. I guess I got the first and the fourth mixed up, but I was planning on reading this book because of her recommendation. So Haley actually loves reading a lot of thrillers. She's a therapist, so she is able to give quite a different perspective to thrillers compared to other people that I have watched or listened to. And I believe that she got this recommendation from McKay over at McKay's Book Club. So I'll link both of their channels below so you can go check them out. Um, but she has like raved about this one and that's where I heard about it. So I'm actually going to read this today. It is not very long. It's 284 pages, I think. It is very dark and gory and crazy that I've heard of. I had read the prologue in my try a chapter and that like blew my mind. So I am excited to read it, but I will say I've heard some things about it. It could be very triggering to people. So just because I might be raving about it, just make sure you do your own research and make sure it's something that you will be able to, you know, handle. But I feel like we should open up my David's tea package because maybe I wanna make some tea while I'm reading. I also have not eaten lunch yet, it's two o'clock. I think I'm going to do a Cobb salad for tonight because I still think the avocados aren't quite right so I can't do that shrimp avocado thing I wanted to do. But the weekend is obviously starting tomorrow and Alvin will be home and off. So he said that he can definitely grill on the weekend. And so I'm kind of saving all of our grilled meals for the weekend when he's home. So that way he can just grill a whole bunch. So this is the um, David's Tea um, like seasonal type of thing. I guess it's like every uh, season they have like a surprise um, type of package. So this is my first time getting it. We'll see. I'm just gonna pull out. Whoa, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. Let's pull out one at a time. This is organic Zen pearls white tea. Oh, is this? Breathe deep with these meditative white tea pearls scented with jasmine flowers. I, like this isn't boba, I guess. Oh my gosh, I wish I had like boba tea right now. That would be so good. And then we have strawberry kiwi capri. Fruity, sunny, and fun. This is white tea. That might be really good iced. And then, wow, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. Jesse's tea. <laughs> Jesse, your tea is soothing, lavender, coconut. This is rooibos. Oh, that also sounds pretty good. Okay. 
Then we have whipped coconut green tea, toasted coconut romance. There's a lot of tea in here. I'm not sure I would like the coconut ones though, I'm afraid. Uh, Maracoja mango exotic passion fruit. This is black tea. Ooh. I love black tea, it's one of my favorites. Wild raspberry, radical raspberry punch green tea. I feel like I need to make some like iced tea with these. Gosh, there's so much in here. Dragon fruit aloe, hydrating aloe and dragon fruit. This is a fruit infusion. Okay. And then this is peach pucker. I do love peach. Natural peach candy fruit infusion. Yummy. I think the fruit infusions mean that there's there's not any tea in them. All right, that was it. Look how many. That was a lot. I might save some of these to gift to people. While we get ready for reading, I'm gonna go ahead and make the uh, mango black tea because that just sounds really good. Ooh, that smells amazing. Also, I'm going to eat a quick lunch and this is probably gonna gross out a lot of you. <laughs> but I love eating like random things together. So I'm gonna eat these smoked oysters. I'm gonna eat the rest of this Swiss cheese with probably, actually maybe not yellow mustard, I, with some spicy brown. And then I'm gonna have some pickles. If you clearly can't tell from my spread, I love salty and sour things. I think it's the German in me. Like I am always craving vinegar and salt. Ooh, yum. It's five o'clock and um, I just got to chapter three in Survivor. I actually had to stop and do some computer work this afternoon that I forgot about. Then just a little while ago, I actually put some chicken breasts in the air fryer and some bacon in the oven because of the Cobb salad for tonight. So I'm planning on just reading now for most of the afternoon, or I should say, I guess evening now. Um, and then I'm gonna be playing Overcooked tonight with some of my friends at nine o'clock um, on the Switch. So far, I'm actually really liking this book. The prologue was really weird and in left field, and I don't really know if I should like say anything about it because it was such a shock factor. But then the chapters that I've been reading are about this lady, Lisa, and her husband, Brad. And and first off, they had met this like homeless lady who um, was pregnant and they gave her money and she kind of told them her story about how um, she got pregnant with like her boss at her job and then that didn't go well and so he fired her and so she's homeless and stuff. And I think Lisa is also pregnant um, and so they felt bad for her and gave her money and then they get into their car and they start driving and they pull out and they pull out in front of this like person who then starts like stalking them, chasing them kind of. Of, um, you know following them the whole time and they're like oh my gosh like we need to call the cops like this guy is like stalking us well turns out they pass a cop and the cop pulls them over like Lisa and Brad and arrest Brad he's like oh yeah the van that's been following you called in like a complaint that you were swerving and like reckless driving so like you're gonna have to go to jail and it's passed when the courtroom is open so like you're gonna have to wait till Monday and I guess both Lisa and Brad are lawyers but number one it's like that's like my worst fear because they obviously weren't doing any of that but it's my worst fear to like be accused of like breaking the law and then have to go to jail. I don't know, it's so scary to me. But that was uh, chapter one and chapter two. So I'm really liking it because it's so different from what I've been reading. 
and I'm excited to keep reading. So I'm gonna read and then I'll give you guys an update hopefully before I start making like actual dinner, like salad dinner. Okay, Alvin said he uh, left work, he's on his way, so I need to finish making the salad. But I have gotten 59 pages into Survivor. So what has happened so far, so Brad is in jail, cause like obviously the courthouse was closed. Lisa is trying to like get a lawyer and stuff, but the guy that like claimed that they were being reckless and like was following them. His name is Mr. Smith or Bill, I think. Anyway, so he ends up kidnapping uh, Lisa, the lady, and he's actually going to give her to someone named Animal and they make like snuff porn, I think it's called. I actually don't know what any of this means, but I guess it's like, Porn. It's like hardcore porn that like I guess involves like pain and like really bad stuff He currently like has her tied up and like stole her in order to like use her for this um, And like she even told him she was like yeah, I'm pregnant. I just found out um, And he's like yeah, I like they don't care like this is my job. I have to deliver you like to these people so that's pretty crazy. Um, I don't know how the prologue like actually gets into this part because like the prologue was about to something totally different. But yeah, definitely weird and different. Let's go ahead and make our cob salad. I'm gonna turn on music so that way I can cook to my music. salad and I have just been on TikTok. Alvin's playing Fortnite. Um but I have this chocolate bar. Whoops, I just dropped it. I have this chocolate bar that my friend Brandy had gotten me. It's a spicy dark chocolate hazelnut chai and I haven't tried it yet so we're actually gonna try it right now. I've never heard of this brand. It's Moonstruck from Portland, Oregon. Oh that was cool. Ooh, it smells like chai. I think you're really gonna like it. It does have like faint spice to it, but it tastes like chai. And I love the hazelnuts. Really good actually. This is what it looks like. So I came outside to read because I was chilly inside um, and it's actually super nice and beautiful out here. I'm on page 76 and um, this one lady named Debbie kind of stumbled in. She was a next door neighbor of where Lisa is being held at and she kind of like stumbled into what was happening and so now she is also um, like tied up with them and this animal guy who is the guy that's like 
in charge of all of this he is now there and he takes debbie first and like it is um there's definitely lots of talk about rape in here so number one they like drugged debbie they put something so the blonde man filmed debbie martinez being raped by the man in the black bondage hood as he held a knife to her throat she would realize later that the reason debbie didn't cry out longer was because she was doped up with something that left her conscious but in cap in incapacitated but it's pretty bad it does get um a little graphic here with like what they do like cutting her with a knife burning her with cigarettes like stuff like that so this book is definitely not for everybody and faint at heart and i actually i didn't know stuff like this existed <laughs> my homeschoolness is showing yeah it's pretty crazy because like it makes me think like what if someone kidnapped me and like what if this happened to me like i can't even imagine but they were saying that normally they use um like girls that are already kind of like messed up on drugs and kind of like at the bottom um so this is the first time that they actually went and got like a normal person i guess if you want to say about lisa um but yeah normally like they bribe drug addicts in with like the intention of free drugs and then they like film them and like do stuff to them and stuff which is crazy okay so i'm on page 98 chapter 13 um i'm stopping for now because it is 8 53 and i'm gonna be playing overcooked with my friends at nine so i'm gonna probably like make a cup of tea and get all of that ready but this is the darkest book I think I have ever read in my life. The things that they talk about in this book are things that I never imagined reading about. Like, I'm almost like throwing up every time I read it. I don't even know. It's my neighbor's cat. There's like a cat over there at my neighbor's house. <laughs> I swear, there's no one being murdered here. I'm excited to finish this book, but I definitely, like, I, I can't even, like, say the things that are happening in this book. It's, it's really bad. Fifty Shades of Grey looks like child's play compared to this. <sighs> like, Fifty Shades of Grey is, like, on a level one, and this is, like, a level, like, 500. We need chicken and, to oh, tomato. Grab tomato, Pam. And then chicken up there. Oh, and tomato. I'm sorry. Where's <laughs> the cutting board? Yeah, this one's hard. I forgot because we have to share this. The only counter. <laughs> Did you see me? I was on the edge of glory. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of stuck here. Oh. <laughs> Hey Google, uh, meow. This is a Siamese cat. Hey Google, bark. This is a dog. <laughs> in. Shake? Shake sustain. You're not that smart, yeah. <laughs> Dance. Time to go to bed.